Hi and welcome to my heap. In this uh, screencast, we're gonna uh, we've gathered all the information that we need to get together, and we're going to uh, configure Linux CNC to run the KRMX01. So if you haven't uh, re uh, up to this point, uh, go back and review. We have to gather some preliminary information before we can set up Linux CNC. So in the spreadsheet that I've encouraged um, people to uh, put together when they set up their machine. I've recorded the latency test. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with the latency, latency test, please go back up and uh, watch that video. Uh, our driver specifications we have listed, and then our step and direction pins for the three axes. And then we over here on this side, we have the information for the, the actual mechanical information. In other words, how many steps the motor takes, are we using micro-stepping, is there any ratio between the motor and the lead screw, and what is the pitch of the lead screw. Th this is the information that we'll have to have in order to configure Linux CNC. So let's get started. We'll come up to the application menu and select CNC, and then CN uh, Linux CNC Step Conf Wizard. This is probably the simplest way to configure a new machine. Um, later, one will come back and uh, probably use the step comp to add some more features to the machine as we get them in place, like limit switches, probe, and and uh, the router speed control. So this is the splash screen. Uh, we're just going to hit start, okay, and we're going to create a new configuration, okay. If we had already created a configuration, we could say, hey, modify a configuration that we've already created with this program, select it, and then we can browse to that configuration. So also we're going to check uh, create a desktop shortcut, a symbolic link to the configuration files, and create a launcher to start Linux CNC with this configuration. So we'll hit forward. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the machine a name. I'm just going to call mine KRMX01 because that's the machine I'm building and it just makes sense to me. The axis configuration is a three axis machine, an X, a Y, and a Z. And remember, even though Y uh, axis has two motors on it, it's just one axis. So um, it's a single axis with two joints, and that's a, a good distinction uh, to get kind of burned into your head. And now we're going to set the default machine units. I'm going to set mine to inch. Okay. The driver type, if you have a driver, that's listed here, you could select the driver and we'll put in the timing values for you. If your driver is not listed here, select other, which I'm going to do because I have the CW230s. And here we're going to enter in our driver information. Now the driver information um, is available on the specification sheet of your uh, stepper motor drivers. If it's not, check out the uh, Linux CNC wiki. They do have a list of, of a number of drivers that are available. Um, uh, and have the specifications for those. If your driver's not listed, um, uh, you know, post a message. Uh, either e either email me by hitting the contact link, or um, s uh, leave a message on the Linux CNC form. So for the step time and step space, um, my drivers didn't really have much information other than that the signal had to be uh, 10 uh, microseconds or longer. Not uh, and being opto-isolated, there's a chance for some propagation delay there. So I'm going to set this to 15,000 nanoseconds. 15,000 nanoseconds is equal to 15 microseconds. I'm going to do the thing, same thing for the step space. The direction hold and direction setup, again, my uh, driver spec sheet doesn't list any information for this. So I'm just going to use a safe value of 20,000 nanoseconds or 20 microseconds. This is a nice, safe um, measurement that I can use. And then here we can specify we have just one parallel port, or do we have two? Well, I only have, I actually have two, but we'll come back later and show how to add an additional parallel port if you need to. So we're just going to leave it at one parallel port. Now, the base period maximum jitter, remember we've done that latency test, and that was the number that we recorded, and you'll see that right up here 19,732 nanoseconds. So this is the number I'm going to put in here. 19,732. Okay. If you haven't run the latency test, you can actually run it from right here if you needed to. But I would just encourage you to just go ahead and run it uh, before you ever start this and mark it down in your sheet. So we'll select forward. 
Now this is the information on the parallel port. What's hooked to what? Okay, so uh, pin one um, is unused at this point in time. I don't have uh, e-stop hooked to the machine uh, yet. As a matter of fact, the motors aren't even attached to the machine, but this is just a test to get it started. So X step is pin eight. So I'm gonna come down here and select my drop down and say that's X step. Okay, and you notice that I have this active low. If you read the uh, uh, web page, you'll understand why that's active low. So I'm going to check that. Uh, pin 9 is my X direction. Okay, and then we're going to come up here. Okay, so our left, okay, uh, Y left is pin 4. That's um, Y step, so that's fine. We need to invert that. Pin 5 is Y direction. And then pin six and pin um, seven are also Y. So I'm just going to do these again. Y step, invert, Y direction. Okay. Now, basically what we're doing is here is we're telling Linux CNC that I want you to um, send all my Y steps to both of these uh, motors. Okay. We can't. Uh, we don't really have a way of differentiating a Y left motor and a Y right motor. Um, it's, it's kind of misleading because we're talking about joints here and, and you would think that we were talking about um, axes. Okay, and then finally we need um, pin 2 and pin 3 are our Z step and direction. So we'll see Z step, that's inverted, and Z direction. And so we have all that and then finally uh, pin 14 um, is unused, pin 15 is unused, pin 17 is unused, and we have no inputs into the mill. And our parallel port base address, if it's a built-in parallel port, you can probably use the standard port. If you discover that it doesn't work for you, um, you can uh, uh, get on the uh, forum and show you how to, um, how you can look up uh, uh, the exact address of your parallel port, or send me an email and I'll give you a hand with it. So at this point we're going to hit forward, okay? Now here we have some options whether if we want to include a uh, custom Python virtual control panel or if we need to include a classic ladder. At this point we're just going to leave those unchecked. Later uh, we may add one uh, for tool touch off and that sort of stuff. And then finally down here says on-screen uh, prompt for manual tool change. If you're using a router for your CNC, um, you're obviously going to have to have a manual tool change and you'll want that prompt, so leave that checked. So we'll hit forward. And now we get to configure the axes. And remember I told you that um, we had to have the mechanical information of the uh, of each axis that, uh, uh, that we were setting up. Now our axes on the uh, uh, KRM, if you're building a, the stock machine, uh, is listed here. Uh, if not, uh, the web page will show you how you need to gather that information together. So we'll start filling it out for the X axis. The motor steps for revolution are 200. That's kind of a, a standard these days. I, I have not seen too many stepper motors that were more or less than 200 steps um, uh, per revolution. The driver micro stepping, I have mine set to two steps, so that's fine. The motor pulley and motor lead screw um, ratio is one to one. We have that there. The lead screw pitch, this is the revolutions per inch. Um, the pitch is actually uh, 0.5 of an inch, so it's actually two revolutions per inch. I probably should have made that a little clearer, but now you know. The maximum velocity, I'm just going to leave it uh, one for now, and I'm going to leave the maximum acceleration to 30, and I'm just going to leave this stuff. Um, here, well, actually, the x axis you know is probably close to 30 inches, so the table will travel from 0 to a positive 30. Um, it's actually a little bit more than that, but this is a good number to kind of start off with here because remember, we're just uh, verifying that the motors work before we actually go out and hook them up to the machine so we're, we can start uh, driving the machine. So that's all the information for the x axis. So we'll hit forward and we'll do the same thing. Well, let me, let me back up. There's a thing here where you can test the axes here if you hit this. And if you listen, you hear, you hear the motor running. That uh, will give you an opportunity to take a look at the, uh, uh, make sure that all your, got your configuration, uh, pin configurations for the parallel port correct. Um, so you can test those axes here.
Okay, so I'm going to hit OK to get back over here, and then we're going to move forward, and we're going to set up the Y axis. Okay, again, the motor steps for revolution are 200. Micro stepping is 2. Our lead, school, uh, lead screw to um, motor ratio is 1 to 1. The turns per revolution, again, are 2 revolutions per inch. We're going to leave these the same. This is the Y axis, and again, we're going to go from 0 to 30 inches on that, and that's, that's just a setting that we know would probably be okay on the machine. You notice this is uh, basically set up exactly the same as we set up the x-axis. So we're gonna, we can test this axis, and if we listen, you can hear the uh, motor running, so we know that we're good. So we're gonna hit OK, and we're gonna go forward to the z-axis. Okay, again, this is, uh, this is the motor steps for revolution is 200. Driver micro stepping is two. The ratio is one to one. The revolutions per inch are two. We're going to leave this the same for here. Now, this is what I um, I want to explain this here a little bit. The table travel for the zero or for the z axis typically use zero z uh, the z axis at the top of the travel. That would be zero. And then as you move down in z, you get, you get negative numbers. So this is the total travel down that the uh, z-axis would have. Uh, so I want to say just minus 5 because I think that's probably pretty close. So remember this is, goes from closest to the table up toward um, the positive direction. So we're going to negative 5 to 0. Uh, if that's confusing, let me know. And I'll uh, be happy to explain that a little bit more in depth. Of course, we can test this axis. If we run the motor, we hear the motor running. We can watch it running. I'll post a video of that um, later so that you can see that. We hit OK and we hit forward. And it says, OK, we're almost done. It says, uh, all the necessary information has been gathered. That was pretty simple. Click done to write your configuration files to disk. If you've experienced any lockups or running Linux CNC, uh, you may need to increase the base period, yada, 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 yada. So read that. And then we hit done. It says configuration has been built and saved. And do you wish to quit? We'll say yes. So I want to just minimize this document that we created. So now we see we have a symbolic link here to a folder. This has the configuration files that we just created with stepconf. So they're, they're there. And then we have another link here that will launch our machine name. So we're going to launch KRM01. We launch that. So there's the machine controller. We'll turn off the e-stop, hit the power of the machine. And we'll just, for giggles, we will um, move these axes. So here's X. And uh, you probably hear it's a little louder. It's because the jog speed here is set low. We'll just bump that up to, I will bump it all the way up to 60 here. So hopefully you can hear this. So, and you see the, uh, you see the cone or the tool moving on the screen. So we know that that's good. We'll select Y. This will probably be a little bit louder because we're driving two motors at the same time. So we're driving two motors at the same time. We're verifying that they're both turning. We see that the Y, um, the the tool cone and the uh, display is moving. So we, we see that. Okay, and then finally Z. We see that. We hear the motor running. We're good. And again, like I said, I'll post a video of the motors running so that you can see. So that's basically all there is uh, to setting up the the rudimentary setup for the KRM under Linux CNC. There are more things that we have to do later. We'll have to add uh, home switches, limit switches. We'll want to add a probe so that we can do a zero touch off. That's a little bit different in Linux CNC than maybe it is in Mach 3. I'm not sure. I don't, I've never used Mach 3. And uh, we'll want to set up uh, what's called a super PID so that we have a closed loop speed control for the router so that we can cut at lower RPMs without burning things up. So that way we can give us an opportunity to maybe cut some uh, light cuts on aluminum or uh, cutting plastic or wax without burning it up. So um, I hope that you found this um, helpful and useful. If you have any questions, please email me. You'll find the contact link at the top of the web page. Um, if there's questions that I can't answer, I encourage you to um, read um, the forums, um, post in the forums, ask your questions there. And um, at this point, you know, I've said several times, uh, please take the time to read the Getting Started manual. Take the time to read the user manual. They're very, very good um, 
sources of information and, and it's about this time now that you probably should be browsing into the integrator and the how manuals. Those are those are good menus, uh, manuals to kind of show you how the stuff works. Uh, so download those and download the man pages to some of the other software that's actually being executed behind the scenes. Uh, so thank you very much for your time and your patience and uh, and uh, from here we'll uh, we'll hook up the uh, motors. Uh, I'll, I'll post a video so that you can see the motors running and I will um, be to the point where we can hook them up to the machine and actually uh, see this beast move. So have a great day and, and thank you very much.